Hello, I'm Congresswoman Anna Eshoo. Every March, we celebrate National Women's History Month and honor the extraordinary contributions that women have made in our country. Most often during this month, we recognize the barrier breakers and the trendsetters, the women who were the first in their fields and those who won first place. They are famous history makers and you know their names. I prefer the version of women's history that is found in family Bibles and dusty journals, in letters to cousins and dog-eared photographs. It is in the stories of the extraordinary, ordinary women who sacrificed in anonymity for their families that we find the sturdy stuff our country is made of. Their grit and perseverance, their ingenuity and inventiveness helped build our country and raise families. Women labored alongside men for less pay. They filled jobs that men wouldn't take for less pay. And to this day, women work for less. That's why I can think of no better way to celebrate women's history than by making some. I'm working to pass the Paycheck Fairness Act. We made progress in 2009 when the president signed into law the Lilly Ledbetter Fair Pay Act overturning the 180-day limit for women to contest pay discrimination. Unfortunately, women still earn an average of 77 cents for every dollar earned by men, costing women and their families up to $2 million over a woman's career. With a record number of women in the workforce, wage discrimination is hurting the majority of American families, both in terms of their economic security today and their retirement security tomorrow. If the United States adopts a policy of paycheck fairness, it will put $200 billion more into the economy every year. That comes out to about $137 for every white woman per paycheck and approximately $300 for every woman of color who are doubly discriminated against. The Paycheck Fairness Act closes loopholes that allow pay discrimination to continue. The bill requires employers to demonstrate pay disparity is actually related to job performance, not gender. It prohibits employer retaliation for sharing salary information with coworkers, and it strengthens remedies for pay discrimination by increasing compensation women can seek. As we celebrate National Women's History Month, I'm mindful of all the women who have paved the way for the achievements of women today. To them, I say thank you. You've shown us that together, we're a force for good for our communities and our country. Thank you.